already did this. Guys, come line, Gaku Uganda. <laughs> As if you know anything. Five years no flower. <laughs> channel is your girl Womba and I am back with another video I know I've been going for too long but I'm tired guys there's a lot that has been going on in my life but without further ado let's get into today's video today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like share all that jazz and if you're not new well, welcome what you're doing okay first to start off they effed up my eyebrows like guys never betray your person who does your eyebrows or whatever or whatever you want to call it i'm telling you you're going to cry because we moved okay i'm in lusaka at the moment yeah and we're in silver rest so i was like okay so let me try out this place that they're doing eyebrows because i don't want them to literally remove all the eyebrows just to tweeze them you know just shape them not tweeze sorry just shape them so that they shouldn't be hard to draw and this lady did this guys Come line, Gaku Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at myself in the mirror. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry. Like, I literally called my mom on a video. I'm like, Mom, they have effed up these bros. And then she just laughed. Like, everybody just laughed. They were like, You've been laughing at me now. It's your turn. So, you guys, like, don't mind these bros. Just never cheat on the person that does your face or your hair or your nails. Otherwise, you will cry. Now, work Jaga Uganda. But otherwise, how have you guys been doing? How's life? Sorry, the lighting is coming from this side in my room. So I would have used my young sister's room. But it's just not giving home. I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable. And I'm not a makeup guru, whatever. I'm using stuff I know. And some of my cousin stuff. <laughs> stuff that i use sorry and some of my cousin's stuff so don't come at me saying hey you are supposed to use what brush you are supposed to what i'm just doing what i know what i normally do to my face and look like a person that's it don't mind my eyebrow pencil it's small i know it's finishing but i love it and i've never used this um what do you call it Oh no, guys. Oh no. I'm skeptical. I have never used it before. I am not so good with bros. Like, maybe I am with myself. Yes, obviously. But with the, the way they've made this line, it's hard. Trust, it's really hard. But I will try. Yeah, life's been life, you know. School and whatever. I closed in. When did I close? December. Sixteenth, somewhere there, and uh, no, I have not had dunk twins, you guys, from the time I came back, and I'm hurt because I'm a dunk twin lover, you know, like that's my thing, like that's just me, you know, I'm a dunk twin lover, so I have not had dunk twins for like. How long? I don't know how long ago, but I really miss them. I feel like I will function better when I have them. I know it's crazy, and the person who put me on with like dunk twins, it's me and this because I always used to see her in her vlogs or her Instagram, and she'd be like, "Oh, dunk twins!" I'm like, "What are dunk twins? Like, what is that? Like, what are you saying?" I was like, "Okay, I need to try this out." And I put my whole family on, and now we are dunk twins freaks, apart from my dad, because my dad doesn't eat fast food. Okay, he does, but like, anyways, you get the point. So, yeah. And I will just start giving out unpopular opinions, because I will not shut up. I will not... um be doing anything otherwise i'll just end up being quiet so yeah so you guys my first unpopular opinion no trading why are we complaining no no like seriously okay yes it's bad but like why are we complaining like it's the first time 
you know, sometimes we don't understand Zambians. Hello, Chedini. Yeah, the president. The president is the one that causes global warming or climate change. Ah, you know, it's common sense. Like, nobody has to tell you this. You know, it's not the government that brings rain. And you're here complaining. Yo, oh, road shedding. How many hours? Critical conditions. You have to put you in that position as if you can even do anything. In Africa, the, the president that has made major change, the best president in Africa right now is our president. And you're out here as if you know anything. You guys, you should just be keeping quiet. You should be like me. Just, just see things on the internet. You hear a lot shedding. Oh, do more information. Research. Find out reasons why things are happening before you start talking, talking. And giving out false assumptions and whatnot because it's irritating one day it's really really irritating because as a grown-up you're supposed to know and research stuff and see why they're making certain changes but will you know go kamba vako my second other unpopular opinion is um i love noodles noodles win like noodles are just nice like you people who don't eat noodles like missing in life like somebody at this point needs to take me to south korea otherwise i'm gonna die <laughs> i literally love south korea you guys and k drama yo stop playing with me stop <laughs> but yeah like i love love noodles and um the place i would really like to travel to is south korea for the food and for the people period i don't care what you say i don't care my other unpopular opinion is chingola is nice. It's nice. I say from my comment section, if you've never been to the Kupa Bell, just shut up. You don't know anything. Okay? Chingola is nice. It's a small city. There's no congestion. There's no traffic. The people are really friendly. People from the offices are not rude. They're just super friendly, super welcoming. Like the people there are just good people, kind people. All these attacks and whatever are happening in other places, but they're good people, trust me. But then, one thing I've noticed about the Copa Belt, if you go there and just speak in vernacular, my dear, you are from London. In fact, America. Because people will look at you like you're foreign. I was surprised. I'm like, ah, what is going on here? Like, why are people looking at me like this? And that happened when we were in Kitwe. And I thought maybe, you know, like maybe it's just the people here in Kitwe. You know, like maybe it's just Kitwe. But then when I went to um, Chingola as well, and I was speaking vernacular, and everyone was looking at me, oh, you're from Lusaka, yeah. Oh, like they just look at you weird. Like, what language are you speaking? You know, like, <sighs> and most people that haven't come here in Lusaka think as if I'm, Lusaka is like, Oh my god, New York, Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm like, let me tell you. Here, it's so clean because Chinkola is like the cleanest city in Zambia. Was, is, I don't know, I don't care. But at that time, it was or it still is. I don't know. But so, I would like tell people, I'm like, don't feel bad that you haven't been there. But like, this place is nice too. And if you go there... You know, the hype is not all that. You get to see that for yourself when you go. Another unpopular opinion, Destiny is boring. It's just boring. I don't care what you say. People just watch it for soccer, Mbuzu, um, news. Kwasid. Really, that's all DSTV has remained for. Because it's not nice. It's just not nice. It's, it's not. And I would prefer Netflix over DSTV. I don't even watch DSTV anymore. It's like, I don't even watch Mpali, but I like it, you know. I used to watch it, but I like it. I just don't, there's just something with Zambian series that you just start and you just fall off and you're like, okay, fine, I don't want to continue. Yeah, but that's that DSTV is not doing it for me these days. It's just not doing it. And one other popular opinion, the more you grow up, the more you start to appreciate sleep more. And sleep is the most underrated, how did you say underestimated? Underrated um, thing, but trust me, hey, kakula. Just want to be sleeping all the time because you're never resting, especially if 
you're working or you have school and you're like oh my gosh why was i struggling to sleep when i was young i should have just been sleeping because i don't rest but then you know life has to go on and sleep is not sleep anymore you guys it's just an escape from reality because life has just like so much going on and it's just sad really sad yeah oh, guys before i continue now i want to ask you see these videos that you see on tiktok people with mansions and you remember to be date rooms what's being a bunch ah you know what in a way like sometimes i sit and start thinking like you have a 30 rooms house 30 or that and then you know at the end of the day you people should realize that these big huge houses that you're building at the end of the day you're still going to go back to being the two of you your kids are gonna grow they're gonna get married they're gonna leave that house at the end of the day it's not even that just cleaning the thought of cleaning the way our house just breaks my back guys 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 not even at what you know, I've never grown up with a maid in my life. Never. And we've never we've never had a maid. Even till this age, we still don't have one, but we're thinking of having one. But still, guys, in and the maid Um I'm the maid of it. This is my house. I run this house. What are you saying? <laughs> like literally I've been thinking every time I watch such videos, I'm like, oh, what's on Gunaho? Sometimes it's not even just white people, eh? Sometimes Maid, maid, you guys, you stress these people out. They're human for Christ's sake. And you buy that huge I'm gonna sell a remember because I am big because in a month in Sininga Kwanis. I cannot manage Sininga Kwanis. Merinda, I don't like Merinda. Merinda is just like they should even stop making it. Kuliche mwima vekera mkamwa. I, I don't I don't like it you guys and also um what don't I like e... what's this e watermelon like why do people eat that like is why ah guys me and my older brother don't eat watermelon and we're just like best friends because of that and we always talk about it and we're like oh, why 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 am I watermelon I've ever had, you know but like why guys ah, wait like i understand it's a fruit but no 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 what what are you eating what even are you eating? special that media has about you know valentine's and what guys don't stress yourselves that will depend on our mouth as fire if you can just manage to get flowers you know the little things matter and you know this is the problem society these days i'm going to say two things I want to say, guys, don't stress yourselves, but please don't completely sit down and just not do anything, you know? Society has made things normal to say it's okay not to do stuff for your girls because she has to be independent. You have to share money 50-50. Also, it's just because she has to be independent, you can't get her flowers. Also, it's just because you have to be independent, you don't have to do anything. Like one year, like one year, two or three years, four or five, you've been with someone. And the only time you've gone for dates is like five times, four times. You know, a date is not only let's go to somewhere expensive. Just like a picnic or just sit somewhere, have food, talk. That's a date. Problem. met gala. Just do something that you can manage and not stress yourself and just not. At the end of the day, I don't know. She cheated. She cheated. Mundanzo could dating a five years, no flower. Ah, iwe. Of course. A princess deserves the flower. What are you saying? Five years, no flower. <laughs> Please. And like I said, princess treatment isn't supposed to be taught. Mundanzo mukuru maningi, pea fika, ama shavinga no shavinga, wambo muza pochita. Like you know, do a grown ass man. I don't have to start teaching you what to do. Anyway, oh, am I? Oh, and complaining. Ah, oh, you look like a fool. Don't complain. Like okay, complain once, twice, three times. 
a person who hears will hear you. If they don't want to listen to you and they don't want to change, they won't change. Just stop. Just be looking at them. Eh? God knows what he's doing. Just to sit and do it. You know? Watch us. Just tumble the tower. You get what I'm saying? Just tumble the tower. It was not tumble, you would see. <laughs> yeah, like, that's the thing this year. Don't stress, but the stress when it comes to school, because that's your future baby girl, baby boy. That's your life. Work hard. Mm, it's life is to suffer. If Jesus suffered, who are we not to suffer? But, eh, in Kakamba suffer, not to do a voodoo kamanji, wa chinja la skin color. That's not what I'm saying, but, yeah. 2023, God, God above all. Like, I swear, when I just started 2023, I was like, oh, God. I just, peace of mind, Lord, just give me peace of mind. That's all. And, and it's really working. And I had this, you know how people write down monthly goals and what, and I tried it out and I did, um, oh, what did I do? I wrote down my goals for this month and I am happy to say, I am so happy to say that how many, two, three, four. Yeah, you guys, and one of them, my biggest achievement that I really wanted for January is to finish the book of Nehemiah, and I actually did. I thought I wouldn't because sometimes, you know, when you want to read, you just slack off. It's not like you can read the Bible every day. Sometimes you just slack off. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. And for me, this journey has been amazing. I started reading the Bible like last year, early last year, and I started it from the book of Genesis. Guys, don't blame me. I've grown up in... Uh, why is my eye red? What have I done? Oh my gosh, it's so red. Like, look, guys. Are you seeing this? Like, can I get me challenge in the video? It's a color red. But, I don't know. Maybe the product has gone into the eye and it's doing, it's performing. It says, performing. I'm supposed to take pictures. What the hell? But anyways, that was my goal. I grew up in a community where I would believe what anyone would tell me about Christ. And I didn't know Christ alone personally. Panega, I didn't know him. Whatever someone would tell me about who God is, that's what I'll get. And that's what I'll use as an argument. But for me, I wanted it to be like, I want to know him personally. I want to know who he is. The commandments that he put, for what reason, why should we follow them, stuff like that. You know, just knowing the word is really important. And as a Christian, you really need to know the word and stand by it. So I said, okay, cool. I'm going to do that. But um, I'm proud of myself. From Genesis, I'm now done with Nehemiah. <laughs> Nehemiah. And I want to start Esther, the book of Esther tonight. I read the Bible every night before going to bed. And that has really, really helped me so much. And I am so happy to have this relationship with God. But you guys, this eye is bugging me. Because why am I looking like Vanchakov? <laughs> TikTok videos about like how these people of color like oh they saw something and like how what any normal person would do they followed it what any normal person would do follow it follow trouble me follow danger aha I was like you know this man is talking on behalf of the white people community but no black person would do that as they saw something it fell in the sea and they did what any normal person would do follow it I'm like liar you are a liar you ah guys i was like this man is joking because black people would literally run like we run from things that we haven't even seen we just see someone running and we start running we don't even know why the person is running but just to be careful you know they're not even thinking about 10 years from now that alcohol you're gulping like it's water hey guys you should be scared for your life you be scared me though i'm scared can't even how am I still in America? Because in Gaskaba, we do not have car, but we are not living life. <laughs> now people would be like, mm, men could never. But we, we had an out on a trip to Costa Rica, and are living by the living waters. But someone just said, I cannot with a man. So they in enjoyment, you know, I can't. What is that? Is anyone? Is she chatty? Hey, 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 hey. I think in this video I've goofed around a lot and I've been myself a lot. And it's just so funny.
Because I never do this on camera. This isn't me, guys. This is me. Man, this is like, this is me. Like, I'm always like this. Baby chat always gets tired of me. Because I do goofy stuff. Yeah. But it's true. You tell someone, you know how these people are like, oh, men, gross. Men are dogs. I hate men. Oh, yo. Chilling in Costa Rica. <laughs> God is really dangerous. Instagram. Ah, Man, I could never. You could never be charged. Ah, there's another unpopular opinion that I have. I feel like Dubai is just a place for trips, you not know, It's like, it's just like that. It just gives that vibe where it's just a vacation destination and not somewhere you would want to live. In. Because, mm, <laughs> like you know this perspective that we have that spoiling your girlfriend is not right or doing stuff for your girlfriend let me just say doing stuff like it can be basic stuff just get her flowers or just take her out and you guys are like why are you spending money on her who told you that you're not supposed to be spend money on your girlfriend and let me tell you something this society that's the problem with this this generation of now they have this thing where like you cannot pamper your girlfriend if you pamper your girlfriend it's wrong it's not wrong it's not wrong even the Bible says a man is a provider. He's supposed to provide for your woman. And she has to be submissive to you. So who are you to just come and change God's word just like that because you don't have naira or dollar or kwacha? Ah, uh, you. You go some fish. I am so sorry because most part of this video is just speaking vernacular. Proud Zambian. Let's come on and change my YouTube videos. These other youtubers from other countries speak their language and then now they are wondering even us figure it out narrative that people of nowadays that just say oh i asked you out on the phone you're my girlfriend and the next time you meet sex guys let's be real no, it's not funny anymore. It's not funny. Grow up and ask out a person properly out for a date. Not to go and do whatever. A date, a proper date. Go out on three, four, five dates. Get to know each other. Not in. In. That's Funny. Get to know someone. And I feel like the pressure comes from the man. Just because. Just because. Who told you? What's your... <laughs> Anyway, that like that with sense. girls, we give people chances to change. We give people, we still have that narrative in our heads to say, we, not who you are, but who we want you to be. And that's how we look at you as. And so we keep giving you chances and chances and chances so that you would change. Or maybe from the time I met you, you were acting like that and you've changed and so i'm holding on to the person that i first fell in love with but if you keep on giving you chances and chances and chances and nothing is changing it's deep on it is oh, is this question that one person once asked me why do you think girls date um older men not like older men <laughs> i mean like i don't know about those but i mean like older men like um like older in age, maybe five years difference, ten years difference, and like you're only twenty one or like you're twenty three, and you have like a five ten year difference. I said maybe it's because um, that person to her is mature, and her age mate is young. He's still young in the head. He may be her age mate, but in the head he's still young, and for her she doesn't want that. And those people want to settle down. In as much as you, you want to settle down to, but you're young to her, you know, because your headspace is still not as mature as to that man's level. And that's why she wants to date someone who's like that. Like, no, you guys are just going to... Girls, please comment in the comment section and tell me if I'm just perfing here or what. Because that, that's what I think, eh? That's what I really think, because... Girls want to date someone who's mature. So you don't want to start babying someone who's big and who knows what to do. Like I said, you shave and then I should start telling you how to treat someone. I mean, you're a grown-ass man. You've got beards. If you don't have beards, that's why you're a child. You don't think 
But if you have beards, you're supposed to be thinking, I'm not supposed to be telling you what to do. I'm not your mom. You're just supposed to not say, this is my girlfriend. I'm supposed to treat her like this. Or this is my boyfriend. I'm supposed to treat him like this. And then you want me to be forcing you what to do. So guys, this is the final product. This is the final look. I just go for simple things that I can manage myself. And I don't go overboard. If I can't manage, if I don't know how to do it, I'm not going to stress myself. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it just like that. So, and this is the final look. I'm going to go take some pictures before the sun goes down. And you know how people just take pictures and not go anywhere? <laughs> I do that a lot. I've been doing it for years. But anyways, so you guys, remember, do not teach someone how to love you. Do not teach them how to love you or how to treat you, sorry. You can teach them how to love you. Maybe you say you want to be loved this type of way, that, that type of way. You don't have to beg someone. Yeah, that's the proper way to see it. You don't have to beg someone for them to treat you properly. They are grown people. They shave. They feed themselves. They take themselves to the toilet. They bath themselves. They sleep. You are not supposed to be teaching a grown-ass person how to treat you. If they cannot do that and you've been begging and begging and begging, just start tumbling the down. It will tumble you back. Simple. If they want to change, they will. If they don't want to change, fine girl, fine boy, do your thing. Don't force things. The least thing that you want to do this 2023 is to start forcing a person how to treat you when you know. You are not their mom. You are not their dad. Leave them alone. It's simple. Just, just don't. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back now on YouTube. I promise. Just give me a video or YouTube ideas that you want down below and I will be doing just that and... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Iwe. Iwe. Nakuona. Iwe. Subscribe. Niwuku. Niwuku. Subscribe. There you are. Wherever. And let's see. Eh? You know? Be friends. Good. Have a good one. Peace out.